Now this is part two of digital modulation code video. Um, the reason I'm saying all this is because um, using these digital modulation uh, encryption s schemes, is which they are, the data that is sent is one bit of information. The pulsing of the microwave transmitter that sends the data is yet another bit of information. In other words, the phone calls are going across the system being encrypted and encoded and demodulated and demodulated. The modulation of the signal is written, the, the encryption code that the modulation scheme is written in such a way that the pulsing of the microwaves turning on and off and on and off to send the signal, the digital error corrected uh, encryption scheme, that this pulsing has a secondary information channel. Uh, am I explaining this right? The data that is traveling over the radio signal needs to be modulated in a way that the receiver can understand. So a scheme is written in order for the data to be transferred from point A to point B and back again and error corrected, okay? Uh, this information is one thing. The scheme or the code of the modulation structure, the pulsing of the on-off, the frequency modulation, the phase modulation, uh, and the uh, amplitude modulation, these three things can be combined. Oh, also frequency shift key modulation. All of these things can be combined uh, in order to make the, the digital stream encrypted data code, you know, that this, I'm, my mind is so fogged up now, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. The data, the phone calls, the information, the Wi-Fi data is one thing. The pulsed microwaves that are sending this data in a modulated code to be received and decrypted are yet another bit of information. And the thing that I was reading claims that these codes, these modulation schemes, were written specifically to pulse in patterns that would affect human uh, brainwave and behavior. So what we have is a system that is ubiquitous. It is everywhere there's populated people, you look out the window, you'll see a microwave tower. Here in New York, every two blocks there's a microwave tower. One block, they're not supposed to point it at your window. Two blocks, they can. Uh, you know microwaves can travel more than two blocks, but uh, here in New York, that's the way they do it. So we are bathed in this stuff. Uh, and just so you know, there are people making uh, through-the-wall radar. You know, you can make this at home with some parts from Radio Shack that, that works on the Wi-Fi that is already there. You're bathed in 20, 30 Wi-Fi signals here in New York, wherever you go. So there's background radiation that interferometry can pick out as um, data and create, recreate as a picture, structure, and computer can map it. Uh, it you know, the, the, the ones that I've seen so far haven't been so fantastic, but they can tell you there's a person in the room and where they are. So I imagine that the best tools available to, you know, the people with all the money... <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.